Michael, um, this is the first year of ICANN's uh, um, conference. You chose Dublin. What, what was the factor that made Dublin be the place for you to do this? Well, for the Inter Association, I mean, it was good timing having ICANN here, but we represent over 36 global internet companies, many of whom have their European headquarters here in Dublin, so it's an appropriate place. And we're at a very interesting time in the history of the internet. There's a lot of different things happening. Um, you know, we've moved to IP7. Uh, we have we're on the dawn or dawn of the Internet of Things revolution, and I'll ask you about that in a moment. But at the moment, the most pivotal thing really is the uh, safe harbour decision in the European Court of Justice. What do you think this means for you and your members? I think everybody's still trying to sort things out and figure out what the new rules of the road are going to be. The most important thing is that we're still able to serve customers here in Europe and provide great value to the European economy. And choice is very important, and obviously protecting privacy is of the paramount importance to all the internet companies. Now, what, from talking to Dennis there, uh, his his moment in time and decision he made was so pivotal. He, if he said he'd be, if he'd known then what he knows now, he probably would never have come to those decisions. Uh, but in terms of summing up where the internet is at and why why you're um, honouring Dennis today, could you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, we're honouring uh, Dennis Jennings today because he's an internet pioneer, um, inductee into the. Um, Internet Hall of Fame, and you know he's he's uh, local here from from Dublin, Ireland, and you're right. Like some of the decisions that he made 30 some years ago have really crafted the way that the internet is today, which has become this incredible platform for commerce and free expression and freedom around the world. And we really want to talk about that. Uh, the internet, as we know it, I mean, as I said, there if the guys had any idea what was coming as a result of those decisions. Uh, there's nothing that's not going to be touched by the internet. Every device, every inanimate object could one day have its own IP address. What kind of challenge does this face for your organization and your members? I think that's one of the great things is that we're still at the dawn of the internet age. There can be countless new innovations and uh, developments that are going to change the way we live our lives and for the better, create jobs, help grow the economy, connect people around the world. And that's really exciting. Um, and we're really just scratching the surface. In terms of the work you'll do this week in Dublin, uh, what kind of issues do you think you'll hammer out? Do you think you'll come to conclusions, or do you think it's only the beginning of bigger, even bigger debates? I don't know if we'll come to conclusions, but certainly it's, it's helpful to have um, the conversation about the value the Internet brings, uh, both to Europe and around the world, and how um, regulatory policy challenges um, can help um, or hurt shape the future of the Internet. Well, that's an interesting point you made there, actually. The, um, the value the Internet brings, its potential to lift economic boats, <coughs> How do you see you guys helping, uh, you know, economies in, in, in different parts of the world, developing parts of the world, you know, make people more self-sufficient economically? Those are, those are a few of the things. I mean, this is a truly global platform where every country, you know, small companies that aren't even technology companies are able to benefit from their customers and grow their business. And even from uh, a freedom standpoint of human rights, there's been no better driver of uh, human rights and freedom around the world than the Internet, these platforms. And it's important that people recognize that this is a global platform and we need to make sure the governance structure is global and allows for the next innovation and the next iteration of what's going to come on the Internet to exist and not be stifled. Michael, thank you very much. Thank you.